to a client at the end of a period or to a supervisor, but primarily I'm thinking as if we're a bookkeeper given the reports to a client. So the question then would be, what kind of reports do we want to be putting together on a periodic basis, possibly monthly, possibly quarterly, possibly yearly, in order to uh, batch those together and give to a client? Now, obviously, we're going to want a balance sheet report and an income statement report. But as we have seen now, there's a whole bunch of different variants that we can put together for the balance sheet and income statement uh, reports. So now what we also want to have a nice organized system so that we can provide the reports to someone as cleanly as possible. So we're going to think about the different types of reports we might want to put together variants on the profit and loss and then think how can we give these multiple reports to someone in a similar way as we did with the balance sheet we're going to say we can email it we can print them out if that's going to be applicable we can uh, save them as a pdf file we can export them to excel and use excel to try to put them all on one pdf file or we can go to i'm going to go to the first tab I'm going to go to the reports on the left hand side we can use our report manager here in order to try to group our major reports that we might provide on a monthly basis into this nice little management report. Either method we use, we might wanna customize our reports here so that we can easily create this stuff on a periodic basis. Now, we would be putting both the balance sheet and income statement reports typically into a bundle at the end of the, of the month, but right now we're just focused on the income statement side of things. So back to the income statement. Now there's two methods that I would typically have in mind. One would be, you're gonna start with the simplest type of report and then expand in detail. That's what I typically prefer. The second method would be that you're gonna use a report that has you know more data in the baseline report, possibly useful for someone that already uh, has an understanding of accounting. If you're, if you're dealing with someone that's not uh, an accountant, doesn't like detailed reports, most people, in other words, then you probably wanna start out simple and then expand on the detail, especially if you're giving like a presentation or something. So one way you can simplify the income statement is you can you can collapse the, the columns. So I can use this collapse button and that will, will collapse only the sub accounts. So you see all these sub accounts that we made in here? Those are, those are not, account categories uh categories of accounts and they're not like financial categories they're the sub accounts that we created so this is a quite of a long income statement due to all the sub accounts so we could collapse that and now maybe this is where we start so now we have just like the parent accounts involved and you could even go further than that you might have a very simplified starting income statement where you just collapse uh, all of the carrots down to just the the account types and now you have a very kind of straightforward type of income statement still kind of like a multi-step income statement by group so that's another kind of format that you can use to think about as your baseline or lead in report and then have another report that would be expanding on the data and possibly another report that would give more expansion on the data uh, so that's the first method you can try so i would i'm going to go into that middle one expand it and then i'm going to collapse it and i'm going to call this like a summarized income statement where i have all the sub accounts collapsed and then i might want to do my uh, reporting as though i'm going to provide this to a client and that means that uh, i might want to get rid of the uh, this change here make the bracketed numbers bracketed and so on notice that from an internal reporting standpoint i probably wouldn't want to do this meaning collapsing these items because I would like to see the detail, right? When I go into the, when I go into the income statement to see what has been recorded as I do the data input, I would like to see all of the accounts. So, but for external reporting purposes, I might want to collapse them and then do further customizations, which have been our typical routine of, we're going to take the pennies away, make the negative numbers bracketed and red, and then on the header and footer, I'm going to make the title an income statement. So I'm going to call it a summary income statement. And then get rid of the date, time, report basis. And that's it. So then I'm going to memorize this report. So I'm going to say, let's save customization. 
I'm going to make a new group. I'm going to make them a month in report. And report. Now remember, you would probably already also have the balance sheet reports in here in some way as well. And you were going to have to intertwine the income statement and balance sheet reports. But we're not going to, you know, put all the balance sheet reports in there again. But note that you might number them by saying, I want this to be the first one in the lineup. So I'm going to say this is number one report. Save it or save it here and then go back to the first tab. If I refresh the data and go to the reports on the left hand side and look at the customized reports, uh, there is my summary report. It didn't put the number one in it. Let's edit it. Edit. I'll put a number one in the name and then save it. Boom. So there we have it. So then I'm going to go back on over here. Now, the next thing we could do is I could say expanded and I might include an expanded income statement. However, then you got to ask the question, well, if I have an expanded income statement, uh, is that going to get somewhat redundant? Because I could also have a comparative income statement, which already has this total information, but adds some more information to it, such as the last quarter or the, the, which includes the year to date number. I'm sorry, the year to date information by quarter, for example.